Hello guys, today I will show you how to get the Blender 2.8 sources and build it with Visual Studio 2017 on Windows 10. So let's get started with the Blender wiki and the page building Blender on Windows. The first thing you have to do is to install the dependencies. What you have to install is an SVN client, a subversion client for Windows. I'm using the one here for 64-bit OS. You will need this to get the library that Blender uses because they are stored in a subversion repository. You could install the Tortoise SVN to integrate SVN as a shell extension into the Windows Explorer, but it's not a must. The next thing you need is Git for Windows. At least you have to download the command line client to be able to get the Blender sources from the Git repository. Again, you could download the Windows shell for Git, but you could also do without it and use the command line only. Okay, the next software you must install is CMake for Windows to build the sources. You go to the download page and then you can get it as zip file or as installer. I use the installer version for 64-bit. If you want to use Cycles with CUDA support, you will need the CUDA Toolkit from NVIDIA. Ok, last but not least we will need Visual Studio. You can use Visual Studio 2013, 15 or 17 and you can just download here the free Community Edition. I'm using Visual Studio 2017. When you install Visual Studio, it's important to use the desktop development with C++ and use these packages here. The Windows 10 SDK and the Visual C++ Toolkit. At least I had to enable this to make it work. Alright, now let's open a Windows command line and then use these instructions here to get the source code, to get the binaries and to build a Visual Studio solution that we can open with Visual Studio 2017 to build Blender 2.8. First I make a new directory and call it Blender 2.8 git. Then I change into this directory and read only clone the Blender git repository. But there's one important option to get Blender 2.8 and this is the B option to tell git to clone the Blender 2.8 branch. Of course you could also download other branches. Here on the developers portal you can see which branches there are in the Blender repository. Here's Blender 2.8 and other branches like the crease pencil object. Ok, after it is cloned we can just go ahead and get the submodules. Oops, but you should change to the Blender directory before. For checking out the submodules, I just copy and paste the last two lines here. Ok, after that you could check out the libraries using the SVN client, either for 32 or 64 bit and for the different Visual Studio versions. But there's a different way that kind of automates this that I'm using here. I just go to the Blender directory and type make full no build. In this step the make file or the batch checks if I need a 32 or 64 bit download and which Visual Studio version I have installed. In my case it gets the 64 bit libraries for Visual Studio version 2015 or 17. After this step a Visual Studio solution is created for us. In this directory here. This is the file blender.sln. Let's open the Windows Explorer so that you can see it better. And now we can go ahead and open this in Visual Studio 2017.
after it is opened, the first thing you have to do is to build the install. You just have to do this once. This will take a while and after that you can check if the build succeeded. If this is the case, you can go to the Blender project and be sure to set this as Startup project. Now you can press F5 or use this local Windows debugger here to build and start Blender 2.8. And here we go, you just built the Blender 2.8 latest version. You can use this method to always have the latest version and if you like you can also step through the code in the debugger. The starting point of each C++ program is the main function. You can find this here and if you like you can set a breakpoint and step through the code while it is executed. Ok guys, this was my instruction for building Blender 2.8. I really hope you like it and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, please be my patron, this would really help this channel grow. Thank you guys for watching, if you have any questions add them to the comments below and see you in the next one.